Hey friends, thank you for being here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is huge grocery haul plus fridge restock and pantry organization. I'm going to show you what we got and then we'll move on to restocking the kitchen. I hope you enjoy this and find it helpful with all of the restocking and kitchen organization ideas. Let's do this! And this is everything that we got. We have some breads here, croissants, sliced bread, we got Hawaiian bread. And then we have some veggies here, carrots, tomatoes, lettuce. We have some frozen green beans over there, zucchini, strawberries. I also pick up some mangoes at Smith's. It's on sale. And then we have some grapes here, potatoes. We have onions and some dairy items on this side as you see we have some yogurt um, i also pick up ricotta cheese it's for a recipe that i needed to make we have yakult we have some uh, fish over here i got shredded hash browns butter on this side we have meat we have these chakros we have the steak we love beef here so we eat a lot of beef and chicken in our home so that's what we get the most we have some bacon uh, breakfast sausage we have some chicken thighs over here and then ground pork and then we pick up this big box of ice cream from sam's club it was a really good deal we got some codfish here chow mein and chicken fried rice i like to take the chow mein for work also the chicken fried rice my husband does as well and then we have some gravy here mustard caramel sauce hot sauce uh -huh, butter spray we like to do our grocery shopping at uh, walmart and sam's club but for the produce items or like veggies and uh, fruits i like to get them from smith's because i feel like they have better quality sometimes sam's club have good quality produce items as well but i don't need that much usually so i get them from smith and i tend to pick up our produce items once a week so that's why i just get them from smith's and then we have some non-food item here we have some wipes um contact lens solution i have bleach here lotion gum um and then gloves i use that for food and then also for cleaning we have the shout that i use for the laundry we have gel here for my son's hair we have some vitamin and then we pick up this propane tank gas gauge because the last time we ran out of gas from the grill is when we're in the middle of cooking and i wanted to avoid that so that is why i picked this up to be able to monitor the propane tank so this is pretty much everything that we got for this month i'm going to be putting them away now and stay tuned for that Whenever I put away our groceries, I like to start with the meat, portioning them, and then repackaging some of them like the chakros. It's on the tray, and the tray was just too big to fit in the chest freezer, so I like to move them in the Ziploc bag. It's just way easier to store it. And then for the steak, I portion them. I put like two in each Ziploc bag, and then the chicken, and we have this one big tray. And then I just um, make two portion out of it. And then I label this with what's inside the bag and the specific date we got them. I don't add the expiration date because meat usually lasts for a couple months in the freezer anyway, so I didn't need that because we pretty much use them before the time it's expired. If this is your first time here, I am so happy you stopped by and click in today's video. My name is Sal, I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one. Here in my channel, I make lots of realistic cleaning motivation, satisfying home organizations, monthly grocery hauls, and seasonal home decorating. So if you like this kind of contents, I would really love to have you here and join my YouTube family. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my friend. I appreciate you. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. 
I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye. After portioning and repacking. The meat. I like to start with the chest freezer and pretty much take out everything that's inside here and reorganize them. Make sure nothing is freezer burnt. And also, when I reorganize them, I like to put the new food that we got on the bottom and then the old ones on top so I know which ones to use first. And I organize our chest freezer using this white basket that I got from Walmart. Target also carried this. I get a lot of questions about this and that's where I got them I love this basket and we have them for a long time now so I could say that it's pretty sturdy we have this in our linen closet as well it's a different size if you haven't seen my linen closet organization I will link that in my uh, description box below if you want to check it out you'll see that um, we use the same basket just like different size say we didn't i was your first love and you were my first one cheers to all the memories the venom and the remedies yeah promise i won't forget yeah maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let And then moving on to the fridge, I'm now organizing the freezer part of it and on the bottom right side we have most of our breakfast items and then on the bottom left side we have some dinner rolls and other frozen meals. On the top side we have all of the ice cream and the frozen veggies. For the fridge, I like to take out everything that's in the middle part so that I can wipe down all of the shelf before I restock them. I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up Without you, I 
Whenever I prep the grapes, I wash them and then leave them with the stem because I feel like whenever I take them out, they go bad really quick. And then for the strawberries, I'm going to prep them, put half of it in the container to eat, and then half of it I'm going to freeze and use it for smoothies. It's super hot here in Las Vegas and we've been drinking a lot of smoothies, so I'm going to be prepping quite a few uh, fruits for the smoothie. You'll see later.
If you haven't tried avocado smoothie, you totally should you guys. It's one of my all time favorite. It's so good. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm freezing the avocado because it gives the thick consistency when I use them for a smoothie. I don't like runny smoothie because I feel like I'm drinking juice and I just don't like that. So I freeze them so that I can get thick consistency out of it. And I'm also going to be freezing some mango. That's why I pick up a lot of them. I try to do that whenever they're on sale so that I can save some money and freeze them because if they don't then they just go bad here on the counter or even in the fridge sometimes so uh, in this way I can um, have them and still save money. also like to pre-package our yogurt so that it's easy in the morning and it's good to go especially for me because I do take this for work every single day I eat them for my break time and this way I don't have to rush in the morning because I feel like every morning when I'm going to work I'm always rushing and by doing this I don't have to like do this I know it doesn't take a lot of time but it saves me a few minutes if you get what I mean let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted somehow Let me tell you why, what he 
is up with your smile It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied, stayed over the surface Now I just can't get enough You make me feel good like no other I just want everyone to see what I've discovered And when I'm with you, I go higher You lift me up, now I can see so much farther Young And this is what the fridge looks like after I restock and organize them. This makes my heart very happy. And I'm just so grateful that we were able to fill our fridge. I'm a butterfly who has only begun. Taking me a while to get it. Had to live and cry to appreciate life. And what you give is worth it when you're holding me. So close, someone further in under your skin. Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure that you remember what's been. I used to be satisfied. We're moving on to restocking the pantry. We don't have an actual walking pantry. So we have a pantry cabinet and this side is where we keep all of our canned goods and overflow items. So I'm just organizing them and making sure all of the new ones still goes on the back so that we can use the old ones first. And this is our pantry cabinet. I'm going to take out the containers that are empty and that I'm able to restock or refill today and also kind of reorganize a little bit. But the ones that are full and doesn't need to be restocked, I'm not going to touch them and you'll see what it looks like after I'm done with everything. Now I want to embrace life, you and I side by side, knowing there is more in life. I like to keep a lot of food in our home because it gives me comfort. You never know what would happen tomorrow. So this gives me comfort. And for those people that are um, saying in the comments of um, a lot of my grocery haul that we have so much food. Yes, we do because it's what we like to do. And in the long run, it saves us money because we don't have to go back to the grocery store often. I do cook a lot. I may not cook every single day. But I do meal prep when I'm off from work and cook some food that would last us for more than a couple of days. And we rarely ever go out, so that saves us a lot of money. Just because you see some frozen item, it doesn't mean we eat frozen item every single day. I cook a lot and I meal prep. And then we also have lots of chips. Yes, because we do eat a lot of chips. 
but um we also take them for work especially this time of the year everything is so expensive like a bag of chips at work would be like more than a dollar when you can get them for a few cents when you buy them in box so that's what we do i don't eat like a whole lot every single day and we don't have to finish all of the food in one month i feel like that's what people think that we have to finish everything as soon as we get them we don't they do last for a while and they do last us for more than a month and having food in our home saves us money it's what works for our family i understand that it may not work for you and your family or the other families but it is what works for us so we're going to continue doing them never up never down never like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool I hope you find this video helpful and gave you some ideas on what to try next for your own grocery shopping trip as well as some tips in organizing your fridge, freezer, and pantry. If you like and enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel and lets me know you want more videos like this. Comment down below and share this to a friend to inspire them as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so glad to get to spend time with you today and i will talk to you all again on my next video bye friends mm -hmm.